Am I the idiot for selling my husband's car so my son doesn't have to work study anymore? My husband is in a medical facility getting specialized treatment for a serious medical condition. In August 2020 when he realized he was deteriorating, he gave me power of attorney to handle all his affairs. Our son and my husband's stepson, 19M, is a sophomore in college. He lived off campus for semester 1 and has been home for semester 2 and 3. Next semester he plans on going back to living near campus in off-campus housing. He has a partial scholarship at his university which covers around 50% of his tuition and my husband and I pay the other half. The college gave no assistance regarding room and board. My husband said he didn't want us to be overextended and that my son chose to go to an expensive private university as opposed to higher ranked state schools that accepted him so it shouldn't be above him to either take out a federal loan or do work study. My son ended up getting a job in the dining hall when the semester started because he doesn't want to take out loans and we had only given him enough for the first month's rent and security deposit for the unit he was subletting. He hated his job right away and would call me and tell me how humiliating it was to have to serve his classmates. He said it was demoralizing for him and his studies in that he's in an equal position to his classmates when they're in lecture but in the dining hall, he has to answer to them. He ended up quitting halfway through the semester and we had to send money to supplement what he made. A couple of months ago my husband went into inpatient treatment at a facility. Before he went, he said to remind my son that it's perfectly fine to work while studying. My son was distraught during the holidays because he had accepted a position at the school bookstore. He said he could already tell his supervisor felt like she was above him. His duties include mopping the floor. He said he didn't want classmates to see him as their janitor. He said that he was interviewing for paid finance or consulting internships and starting next year he'll be able to cover his room and board. He begged me to help him pay so he didn't have to work another demeaning job saying the desire to never work one again motivates his studies. I took a look at the things we owned and realized the only thing really of value that we weren't using was my husband's car. I didn't know when he'd be back or whether he'd want to or be able to drive anymore. My husband's facility barely allows visitors. He also has pre-existing mental health issues and that combined with his condition sometimes means he isn't in the right state of mind so we don't have contact much. After much deliberation, I ended up finalizing the sale on Sunday. Yesterday my husband contacted me and I told him what I did. He was furious and said that I was a thief even though he gave me free reign to make legal decisions for him. I tried to explain that this was an investment into his stepson's future. Am I the idiot? You're the idiot so much. Student jobs tend to be low level, if he's too good to do an entry level job how is he going to manage when he graduated and has to start at the bottom? Also if he's struggling financially he can always transfer to a state school. You are creating a snowflake here, it's going to hurt when the real world hits him later. You are the idiot. Sounds like you scammed your husbands really well. Your spoiled son could use some life lessons those jobs could provide. I don't think this is real based on how aloof you are at hitting all the whiny points your son is using, you are the idiot. You are doing your son no favors by pandering to this behavior. He will start in the workplace not being able to cope with the drudgery of tasks that normally bequeath the grad position. You're the idiot. You took advantage of a sick man who trusted you to look after his interests by stealing from him. You already had a discussion about your son's expenses and he was given a choice to take out loans or get a job. Those were your husband's wishes. You simply ignored them, stole from him, and are now hiding behind an excuse of having his legal proxy. There was no need for him to sell his car when you have already talked about finances, especially for his stepson. Now, he, against his explicit wishes, has to sacrifice and live without a car because his spoiled stepson can't hold a job longer than 30 seconds without getting all high and mighty. Your son is acting like a spoiled brat and you are enabling him. Tell your son to grow up. No job is going to be perfect for him if he thinks that entry level jobs are demeaning. Am I the idiot for being upset my boyfriend spent $8,000 on a ring when I couldn't afford to visit my dying grandmother? 
I found my engagement ring hidden in some winter stuff I was sorting through. It was still in the bag, with the receipt which I ended up looking at first before I realized what I was. It was a whopping $8,000, money we really don't come into, so it had clearly been something he saved for. He got laid off in March because of Covid, we've been fortunate enough to survive on my salary and Serb. My grandma died in January. I couldn't visit her as I didn't have the $2,000 for a plane ticket as her health suddenly and rapidly declined out of nowhere and we had not planned to visit until the summer. We usually do every second summer. I know I'm wrong for this, but after realizing that I looked at the receipt again and was shocked it was dated only two weeks after the death of my grandma. I was very vocal and distraught that I could not visit her before her death and he knew this, comforting me as I called work every day looking for extra shifts to scrounge enough for a plane ticket and even applying to some second jobs. I did not manage to save enough to visit, or even attend her funeral. It is something still deeply painful for me, I'm torn. It's his money, and I don't want to control how he spends it nor do I want him to feel like he has to bail me out every time I want something. I didn't ask him for money, nor did he offer. On the other hand, we've been together for eight years and have a child. He's met my grandma many times and knows how close we are. She was not a distant relative. There wasn't a day we didn't call even to just say I love you. And he was very aware of this. I'm hurt that he prioritized an engagement ring that he's been hiding since February, over giving me a chance to say goodbye to one of the most important people in my life. Am I the idiot for this? I don't want to bring it up because I feel so entitled even thinking about it but it's tearing me up that he had the money to let me say goodbye and chose the ring instead. Thanks. Am I the idiot for asking for more privacy in a brown household? First off, I, 18M should mention that I live in a brown household where lack of privacy is common because it makes you a better man. I'm also kinda introverted and prefer being left on my own. But my parents force me to come out of my room and go socialize. So I explained to them what being introverted means and they took me to a psychiatrist and now I'm forced to take prescriptions to make me normal. I have a door with a lock but I can't lock it. I once did and had my key taken away. Now I have to keep a foot on the door while dressing up, etc. so no one barges in, which is also common because my parents don't knock. I have a pretty decent PC setup but I can't use it to play video games because I don't follow real life rules while playing. I can't watch movies because none of it is real and I can't watch real stuff like documentaries either because it's all unnecessary information that won't help me become a better man. I can't buy, wear clothes according to my tastes. My parents always force me to wear what they think looks suitable for any event. I am allowed to go out with friends often but my dad calls literally every 10 minutes to check what I'm doing and where I am, went to a history seminar once and he called 23 times in 2 hours. My parents have my phone's password, I'm fine with that tbh, but, they frequently check my call log, messages, social media. I'm not allowed to use any tech after 9.00 pm, not even a clock, which I use to time my workout routine. Speaking of working out, I'm also not allowed to work out because I should focus more on studies instead of my body. Speaking of studies, I'm also not allowed to read any books such as novels, that aren't part of my school syllabus. And no matter what, I must be in bed asleep by 10.00 pm, I get scolded if I'm not, basically. Any activity I do other than studying in order to relax or have fun makes my parents ask me is this part of your syllabus? If not, stop it RN. So today in the morning I got really stressed and told my mum all of the above and asked her not to leave me be and let me go wild, but for a little more privacy than what they think I already have. She argued about how I'm ungrateful for all the things I've done and got upset that I was questioning their parenting techniques and now I feel bad. Am I the idiot here? Obviously not the idiot. Your parents' behavior isn't normal, even by brown family standards. And then parents wonder why their child won't speak to them. Can you speak to a grandparent or an aunt or uncle who may be more understanding and could talk to your parents on your behalf? Not the idiot. 
your parents have major control issues and they don't realize that putting you under that heavy of a thumb is making you a worse man. Taking breaks and relaxing actually makes learning and working a lot easier. Besides you're 18. If you're in the US you're a legal adult and they can't exert that level of monitoring anymore. Not the idiot. There is a lot going on here and I am very sorry for what you have to endure. You are entitled to your own interests as well as privacy. I am concerned about the medication you feel that you were forced to go on. Do you approve of this? I don't have any advice for you but I hope you are able to get some help. You are being abused.